Alright guys, this is Aaron here. Welcome to my end of the ROM review for the Samsung Galaxy H GT S5 3O. And today, I have the Samsung Mod 10 by Galaxy, the 3rd of December release. And, you know, the Galaxy have no update for almost one month. Yes, almost one month. And uh, it brings some changes uh, with this release. The quick review of this release because I don't have much time. So the first changes I'm gonna show you is um, the audio fix, which means um, no more internalizing after you flash a ROM. You know, in the previous uh, release, you need to um, push everything to maximum after you flash a ROM, then uh, restart to prevent the volume bug. Uh, the no no notification sound bugs should be gone. Second thing I'm gonna show you is new OOM memory management, um, which means this ROM is a lot more quicker compared to the previous one, and it handles uh, hard multitasking. It's working faster than before. The third one is uh, Wi-Fi should be more stable now and connect faster. Let me show you Wi-Fi. I'm gonna connect to my home Wi-Fi. Obviously, I'm going to show you my password. Okay, um, let's connect to it. It's connecting. Okay, connected. It connect faster than before. Okay, the fourth one is latest CM10 source, and the last one is SIO and KSM setting fix. Uh, let me show you a few changes that I found in this ROM. Um, is a task manager. You now uh, have the one click to remove all easy enough and then the browser works a lot quicker than before let's go to galaxy.com it works a little bit smoother and faster page loading and you can handle more pages cancel cancel there is two music player in, that's come with this ROM is the first one is the Apple player and the second one of course the Android music player I have no idea why uh, the developers did that I don't use it so you can delete it in Root Explorer finally the sound recorder uh, appear in your app drawer and it works perfectly let's test it hello how are you? Works perfectly. The video playing is still not working in HQ mode. And YouTube too. Let's go ahead and play um, HQ version. I currently play in HQ. Um, it, it still can play in HQ mode but it brings a bit laggy. I personally found out that the gallery works a bit smoother than before. The pinch to zoom is quite responsive and works a bit smoother again. And the camera app does come with more modes to choose with. You can now have more settings in advanced mode. You can now uh, enable the power shutter you can even choose the uh, touch focus duration color effects iso time mode verse mode J jpeg change to super and chip bending change to auto and of course touch focus is usable in this release you can use video recording as well and you have more settings in video mode you can change the white balance and even the effects big mouth, small eyes, big nose, big eyes, squeeze and small mouth and you can have time lapse interval and of course the advanced settings let's go ahead and record the video it's quite smooth I believe it is recorded in 480p the Google now still not working in this release so give some time for the developers 
uh, I'm pretty sure it will work in one day. Hello? Many of you were asking me which ROM is the best choice for the Samsung Galaxy Ace. I have to tell you guys, in my opinion, um, the Cinema 10 is the best choice for me because the smoothness, I like the smoothness, and it handles hard for, uh, multitasking. And the second choice in my mind is the Galaxy S2 ROM JB. The S2 JB ROM, the 10th. Um, I know it is storm based, but it gives you lightning fast speed and battery saving but I don't care about the battery life I just care about the multitasking so Sinjama 10 is the best choice for me so that's it guys uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video comment down below if you have a problem uh, please share to friends that who are using Galaxy HGT as my phase 3 please ask them to subscribe to my channel for the latest update of the Samsung Galaxy Ace and Android news um, so i will see my next video this is Aaron here from the channel of today